Hi, I'm Chad Bettis, author of The Disciple Making Parent, and this is my audio blog, where I read some of my blog posts in audio format for your convenience. In today's episode, we're going to be thinking about using an anger journal to grow in godliness. You know, one reason that young people give for walking away from their faith is hypocrisy in the home. And what they mean is not that we sin, parents sin, because we all sin, including them. What they mean is that we sin and we don't seem to do anything about it. One particular prevalent parenting sin is anger. Anger in the home often continues because we feel it's justified in the moment. And in addition, only our family sees us get upset. It's a secret sin. But in our hearts, we know that this is not the way Jesus would have us act. And I should know this is a sin I struggle with. Because I wanted to grow in this area and I wanted to help others grow, I've developed a video teaching series entitled Parenting with Patience, Overcoming Anger in the Home. And a key part of that video study is the fifth lesson. And in the fifth lesson, we talk about the whole idea of how change happens. And throughout weeks one to five, I'm having you use part of an anger journal to slow down and record what just happened and how did you react. So I want to share with you a set of questions that has helped me walk through each of my own train wrecks so that I could actively repent of my sin. I wanted to chase the fruit of the sin all the way back to the root. And to do that, I used an anger journal. And these were the questions I asked myself, and uh, I modified them, but the basic questions originated with Dr. David Palson of CCEF. And basically what he does is he takes us through two sets of questions. The first he calls the circle of folly. So number one, what was the stimulus? Record the event that triggered the anger. But secondly, record what did I say or do? How did I react? So be specific with behavior and thoughts and emotions. Number three, what was I expecting? What did I desire? What did I crave or believe at the moment? And was this a sinful desire or was it a good desire that became a demand? So number three, what was I expecting, desiring, or believing, craving in the moment? Was that a good desire, sinful desire, or a good desire that became a demand? Number four, how does the Bible speak to this? What do I need to repent of, and what do I need to put on? How do the cross and resurrection apply? So that's the circle of folly, thinking about my sin that I committed. But there's also a gracious circle of wisdom, which is where we want to be. So now there are questions under the circle of wisdom, which is where we want to be. Number five, where is God in this situation? What does he say relevant to your situation? How can the Holy Spirit help you in the moment next time? Number six, Which godly response should I have had in the moment? What desires or beliefs or expectations should I put off and then put on? Number seven, what structural changes could you make, could I make to prevent this situation in the future? Number eight, what verses will you use to renew your mind and fight temptation? And finally, number two, Nine, what will be the good consequence next time if you do this? So as an act of restitution, I want to encourage you, when you have a blow up, when you have an upset, take some time and counsel yourself using these questions. I know I've just gone through these questions and this is an audio format rather than a written format. So I'd encourage you to look up this blog post on our website, The Disciple Making Parent and just search for using an anger journal or to have a complete treatment of this subject, let me encourage you to check out our video series, Parenting with Patience, Overcoming Anger in the Home. It's our five-week video-driven Bible study. It's perfect for personal use and also for small groups as well. Thanks for listening.